All right, good day, everyone. This is Jason, the lecturer of GIS International, training colleague of CSTPC. And uh, my presentation uh, is the, my presentation topic is Supermap Disk Enabled City Blood. As we all know, the construction of a smart city cannot be separated from the refined management or urban pipe network. These pipe networks play different roles, flowing above and below the ground of the city delivering blood of the operation and construction of the city. However, with the gradual development of the city, managers have higher and higher requirements for pipe networks. At the same time, many problems are exposed, such as the underground space resources are becoming increasingly tense and uh, pipe uh, pipeline planning and management are facing several challenges. The refined level of pipeline planning and management needs to be improved, and the intelligent level of pipeline management is not compatible with the status of global cities. The current urban pipe network also has the following three features. They are arranged in a crisscross pattern, strong consonant and uh, high density. So in this report, I've, we will also discuss how GIS can accurately manage the pipe network from the full life circle of the pipe network. From planning approval to engineering pre image verification management to O&M, operation and maintenance. First, we need to create a digital base for the pipe network. In a, three, in a 2D map, it can be composed of basic vector data and high definition image data. In a 3D scene, we can rapid modeling based on rules, symbols, and parameters to create a digital base for a pipe network. In addition, we can also use many 3D data sources to express the surrounding environment, for example, the oblique photography and point clouds are used to express large scale building on the ground. Mobile portable data are used to express the indoor environment and beam is used to, uh, used to express the fine models. Next, let's take a look at the full circle application process of the pipe network. It can be divided into import of pipe, uh, pipeline data establishment of 3D network data sets, creating 3D pipe network scenes, and finally pipe network analysis and application. When, in, when import pipeline data, we always import from existing digital data, such as DWG or MDB. In response to the industry demand for pipelines, Supermap provides a GIS-based pipeline processing technology scheme to provide technical support for various stages of pipeline data management and sharing. We can use iDesktop to import, check, and process the pipeline data, then use iServer to publish it as service, use iPortal to manage the resources, and use iMobile or iClient to virtualize on different terminal. Data check is to check whether the pipeline point data participating in the 3D topological network is on the pipeline in the 3D space to ensure the correctness of the 3D topological network. If there is no elevation field in the data, we need to add an elevation field. The output with problems should be checked again after modification. And there are more than 200 data processing tools in a desktop it can meet the needs of all pipe network data processing. Next, we can convert 2D line to 3D line by adding elevation field, and then there are rich storage engines for us to choose from to store and to manage the process to pipeline data. Supermap SDX Plus is a powerful spatial data storage engine, which can help us store spatial data in different databases such as Oracle, SQL Server, PostgreSQL are good at to store vector, grid, and service data. HDFS is good at to store 
and structured data, such as video field, videos, files. And uh, MongoDB is good at to store tile data. After solving the problem of data import and uh, storage, we need to create the 3D network dataset and build 3D pipe network scene based on the 3D line dataset. The 3D topological network dataset has no spell of lines and points and is mainly used to many used to represent the connection relationship of pipe networks so as to facilitate the subsequent spatial network analysis. We can use the pipeline symbols and pipe point symbols to replace the rendering method of line data sets in 3D scenes, then add PBR materials to it to build more real, realistic 3D pipe network scene. The pipeline can be rendered as round and uh, square tubes. And uh, we can also construct a 3D pipeline like this. Next, the pipe points includes characteristic points, wheels, and uh, uh, ancillary, uh, ancillary uh, facilities. We can automatically generate adaptive pipe point symbols. Then we can create the 3D pipeline scene like this. This is the 3D pipeline in outdoor and the 3D pipeline indoor. Also, the, uh, after we create the scene of pipeline, we can uh, express this in multiple terminals. And multiple terminals can bring us different uh, experience uh, of uh, municipal facilities, such as the portable experience, lightweight experience, cool experience, VR and AR experience, and the global experience. The last one of pipeline full circle application process is pipeline analysis and uh, applications. Users with different roles will have different application requirements for, pipe, uh, for pipelines. I've listed some of them here, such as the cross-sectional analysis or upstream and downstream analysis. This is mainly used by the analysis of data topological relationship. And for facility operation management department, they always use the valve closing search or analysis of accident impact scope. And for the requirements for the, re, re, uh, for the requirements for installation and laying of facilities, the, such as the weekly report detection and, and, and analysis or the buffer analysis are commonly used. We can divide the function of pipe network application into four stages based on the life cycle of PEP network. The first one is planning approval stage. There are many semantic map production, ruler shutter construct, status analysis, spatial query, and attribute query. Such as we can compare between the 2D, uh, 2D network, uh, 2D pipeline network, and the network in 3D. Also, we can compare between the, the vector data and image data. The buffer analysis can help us to find the close environment or close pipeline to the object we select. And the overburden analysis, uh, we can use it for a uh, layout of municipal underground pipe gallery, the soil cover analysis. We can combine the 3D surface modeling and the 3D buffer, then uh, get the spatial relationship by intersection to get the highlight the model that doesn't meet the soil covering requirements. And the cross-section analysis can help us to Draw, such as we need, we, we can draw a line to get the profile, the cross profile of this road and uh, to uh, understand how many pipelines and how deep are them under the ground. 
and just 3D excavation analysis can help us to uh, analyze if we dig a hole, if we create the excavation on the road, what kind of pipeline we can find and where are them. The spatial planning and detailed control planning. This is one of the example we created and it is based on Bing plus G's technology. Realized 2D and 3D integrated superposition display and actually analysis of pipeline cor uh, corridor planning, construction and your current data. Okay, the next stage of full life circle is entering pre-image. In this part, the contracts view, uh, analog simulation, progress, progress tracking, major equipment monitoring are very important. Such as the comprehensive management of urban space. We can, we can integrate the different source of 3D data, such as the overground building, the underground building, such as subway, also the underground pipelines. So we can, we can calculate the spatial clearance relation between the underground building and the underground pipeline also between the overground building and underground pipeline. <clears throat> and to the space components analysis, the, this, this function can automatically analyze whether the distance between the pipeline roads and uh, 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 adjacent pipelines meets the national standards and improve the speed and quality of design and approval. And also the dimension reduction calculation can be supported. That is, we can convert the pipeline data from 3D to 2D for some special user, for some special usage. And the progress simulation can help us to simulate the progress of, of construction. We can know the current status of the building construction and the pipeline construction. Also, it can connect to the IoT and also can connect to the CCTV to get the real situation on the site. On site. The next one is verification management. The technology roadmap of verification management is like this. The 2D and 3D data model is expression of 3D real space and uh, representation uh, of 3D digital space. The 3D real space has spatial, con uh, spatial contradiction. However, we can base on 3D digital space and uh, other city planning regulatory uh, regulations and to generate the digitization role base. At the same time, a lot of analysis functions can build the digitization rule based on the models. Last, the digitization rule base can dissolve the spatial contradiction. contradiction. <clears throat> the last one of full life, uh, full life circle is operation and maintenance. We can query the facility information to achieve the facility asset management such as the pipeline information, factory facilities information. And the traffic analysis can be used in operation management system. We can connect IoT to obtain real-time traffic data in the pipe network, and then reflect it in the smart city system, such as natural gas, drinking water, and other traffic data. Also, the mobile virtual intelligent connection can be used in the pipeline management system, such as we can, based on the mobile, to scan the QR code to get the status and information of the, uh, of the water meter. And we, it can upload the uh, water meter number to the server automatically. And uh, it can also uh, integrate with the AR we can use AR to create the smart city, the smart park application. Also the facility asset management 
which is the abnormal alarm, it can also use the, in the operation and maintenance. And next one is the pipeline burst analysis. We can draw, we can pick out which point is uh, has is broken in the pipeline, and then we can query to we, we can find, query the closest upstream valve to close it, and uh, we also can find what kind of users or which area of users will be affected by this pipeline burst. The last part of my presentation, I want to show you some real cases we did uh, over the world. The first one, underground meridians of Beijing urban subcenter can show underground pipeline in AR visualization. Users can intuitively learn the deployment of the underground pipe network and query all pipe network information through the mobile camera to realize the management and maintenance of the pipe network. The Sichuan Tianfu New Area Pipe Gallery many, man, manage pipe gallery based on BIM and 3DGS technology. Use 3D space analysis to review some design parameters of pipe range. And the next one is the Nanjing Switch Treatment Supervision Information Platform System mainly achieve the supervision and management of construction and operation of switch treatment facilities, collect switch data for management analysis and evaluation of switch treatment in the area. All right, thank you for your time and thank you for listening. That's all of the content of my presentation.